Hi guys, Fraser here from Teachers Exchange and Online Teachers Club. Um, I've just been using a, a tool called Jamboard for a lot of my lessons recently. And for those of you that are recently moved from working for one of the big Chinese companies that have the, the kind of built-in whiteboard systems where both you and the student can interact with it and have now moved to freelancing and using things like Zoom and Skype, um, this is a really great solution to give interactivity on this weird white line here. Um, interactivity from both sides, both you and the student can interact together on a whiteboard. Uh, plus it's free um, and it's even better in some ways than uh, what's available with some of the big Chinese platforms, VIP, Kid, Da Da, Bling, ABC, etc. So uh, I'm going to show you how I use this in my lessons today. So uh, let's have a look. Let's uh, take the screen out of the way. All right. So um, firstly, to go to Jamboard, um, it's jamboard.google.com. Uh, I believe you need a Google account or a Gmail account to uh, to get into it, but it is free. Um, so this is uh, some of the ways that I use this with my uh, students. So um, let's imagine you're starting from scratch. Um, uh, there's a button at the, let's close Facebook there, uh, at the bottom, there's a little plus, click that to open a new Jamboard. Uh, and then on this board, you can do lots of different things. Um, you can, uh, you can draw on it with a pen, but, uh, your student can also draw on it. All you have to do to get your, to give your student access is to click share. Uh, the best thing you can do is click uh, change to anyone with the link here and click editor and copy this link. Now, whoever you send this link to now will be able to jump onto this Jamboard and interact it with you in real time at the same time as you. So you can be teaching your lesson on Zoom or Skype uh, and then both you and the student can have this open and you can be interacting on the same board. So uh, here's some cool things you can do on it. Firstly, you can draw uh, an erase. You have sticky notes, which I really love these. Um, one good thing, one cool thing you can do with uh, sticky notes is, is make little games. So um, let's uh, think of an example. Um, so if you're teaching new vocabulary, you can you can get them to match up vocabulary with definitions. So uh, let's think of a word, uh, school. Okay. And then let's get the definition, official definition. Okay, an institution for educating children. And then create another board like that. And you can imagine you prepare this before the lesson. And you can have lots and diff lots of different uh, pieces of vocab and definitions. And then what you do is you bring your student in and you ask them to match them up. And they can move them around and put them to put the correct definitions with the correct um, bits of vocab. So that's one game you can do. You can imagine with these white uh, sticky notes you can come up with lots of different matching games and activities uh, you can use another great thing about the Jamboard is that you can uh, you could just add in an image really easily straight from Google so let's say you're trying to describe some kind of vocabulary that's um, difficult for you to explain with, uh, with just explaining it uh, you can bring out a picture for example, your student asks, what is a mountain? You can give them lots of examples and you can drop that straight into the Jamboard. Uh, once that's in there, you can also annotate. And more, really. Uh, you can also use the laser, which will disappear just to circle things, which is quite a useful tool. And you've, of course, got the a text box if you want to. I often use this to create a story together. Uh, some of my older students will uh, will write our own fiction, uh, our own stories, 
and I can be helping edit and correct them in real time while we're on this board. Um, another thing I use this for is adding my entire lessons, my whole PowerPoint. So here's one I've already added, an English course for a student I just had uh, for a very young learner. And you can share this with your student. You can then use it uh, just as you would a normal lesson. The only problem here is you have to tell the student next so that they're on the same page as you. As uh, if you go to page three, they'll still, they'll still be on page one. So they do have to know how to click next. Um, but you can, you can teach your whole lesson on these things. Um, again, you can ask student questions about pictures. Uh, you can draw circles on certain things. I wouldn't use that as it's not uh, transparent, but you get the idea. All right, so um, you may be wondering how do you get the uh, slides on here? Um, it, it is a little bit time consuming. So I make all my, uh, I may mo make most of my lessons with Canva. And uh, here is one. And in order to get your slides uh, onto Jamboard, you've got to download them as JPEG images individually, which is really easy to do on Canva. You just click download as JPEG. Um, but even on, if you've made it on PowerPoint, uh, you can also go on export, export as JPEG image. Uh, then what you have to do, you have to add them individually. So you have to add them slide by slide. It can be a bit time consuming, but I think it's worth it because this is a, it's a really useful way to teach your lessons. Uh, especially when you can allow your students to draw and interact from their side as well, and it will show up in real time. Um, so you'll add an extra page. In order to add your slide here, you have to click um, set background, select the background as an image, and then you can upload the image. Or if, for my case, I've already got them in uh, my Google Drive. So you can just select the image that you want, the slide, and it will upload it as the background. Yeah, so I uh, just thought I'd share that with you guys today. Uh, Jamboard, it's a really uh, useful interactive whiteboard that you can use with your students, uh, which allows both you and the student to interact, draw, annotate, uh, add images. So here's a class I had today, and one of the students even wanted to add their own little picture on it. We were just making a story, uh, a very simple story together. We didn't get a chance to finish it, but she even uploaded a picture and um, they really enjoyed working together and playing with the different colors on the, the um, sticky notes. All right, hope that video was helpful. Thanks for watching. Uh, I think this will be posted on Online Teachers Club YouTube channel and uh, take it easy. Happy teaching and have a nice day.